Hello everyone, in today's video I'll be testing this PCI Express to M.2 NVMe adapter in a Dell Precision T3500 computer. This computer was released back in I think 2010 or 2011 so that would make it about roughly 12 to 13 years it's a very old computer and the computer has a I think it has a PCI Express 2.0 slot so we're gonna see what kind of speeds we get transfer speeds write speeds and read speeds we get from this um, adapter with a uh, it has a 500 gigabyte SSD at the it's a Fansiang I think it's S500, it's a 500 gigabyte M.2 NVMe SSD. We're going to see what kind of speeds it, we can get with this on, a, on an old Dell Precision T3500 workstation computer. Okay, so now I'm going to put the adapter into the workstation computer. Get that here, right here. Let's see, I'm just gonna take that, take the panel out first. Pull on the lever. See right there, and then just pull out the case panel. Flip it. Quite heavy. A very heavy computer. The next thing I want to do is I want to squeeze on that and pull it out. Like so. What I want to do next is I want to put that thing to an empty PCIe Express slot. I think it's an X4 slot. So let me locate one and let me just stick it in there. Okay, now I think it's in. Now it's in. Nice and flush. So let me put these things back in. Brackets or whatever we call that. Okay, it looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna put the case back on. To do that, it's quite simple. As you can see, this part right here goes on the bottom. These protruding things, there's about three of them. And they just go on the bottom like this. A line in here. And you just push it in to lock the case. That's it. Now I'm going to hook it up and I'm going to test it out. Okay, so now I'll be testing it. So 
the drive is right here, as you can see. It's an I drive. I already uh, partitioned the drive and formatted it on another computer. And as you can see, this is the M.2 NVMe SSD. This is the Fansiang S501, 512 gigabyte M.2 NVMe. And as, as you can see that it's showing that, so the adapter is working. Next thing I, I want to do is test it out. I want to test out I See what kind of scores I get on it. Got roughly 843.18 megabytes per second. So I'm going to write that down and I'm going to run the test three times and get an average. I'm going to put uh, read, write, test it out again. See if there's any variations. I just get an average. Okay. It's actually, seven eight. Let's run another test. So for the read speed, I got an average of 833.67 megabytes per second. For the write speed, I got 717.7 megabytes per second. So this is uh, a lot faster than what you could get with uh, just even a SATA, SATA, I think it's a SATA 2 um, SSD, because this computer doesn't have SATA 3. So I have another computer that has a Samsung Evo SATA 3 SSD in it and then I was about I could get only about maybe 285 megabytes per second with that and this is the same generation of computer so this is not very bad for a computer like this I mean this is using a PCI E Express 2.0 and I tested this on another computer which had a PCIe 3.0 uh, slot which was basically uh, my computer that has the H97M motherboard which had a i7-4790 processor on it so the generation of that so that computer was uh, made in 2014 so the differences between three years and the h97 the asus h97m has a m.2 nvme slot this computer does not have an m.2 nvme slot and since it doesn't you cannot boot from this with you cannot boot with this m.2 nvme SSD. However, you could use it as a storage drive. 
like I did on this computer. That is, that is possible. It's, it's one of my storage drives now. But definitely you can't boot from a PCIe adapter even on a computer that has M.2 NVMe slot. So um, it is possible to put a M.2 NVMe um, or use an M.2 NVMe SSD with a PCIe adapt M.2 NVMe adapter like I did. And I demonstrated that it is possible. It is, you could do that. And, um, you could put one in your computer, but you just can't boot from it. That's what I want to share with you today. If you found it helpful, you could leave a thumbs up. You could leave a comment if you have any thoughts. And thanks for watching.